Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we'll be making this adorable pencil holder made out of all upcycled um, sheet music. I'm very excited to get started in this project. To make this woven pencil holder, you're going to need 96 strips that are 5 centimeters by 12 and a half centimeters. I used music paper. You could use old book pages, um, old junk mail, whatever you'd like. You could also use magazines if you want to add a lot of color. So let's get started with this project. The first thing you're going to do is learn how to make the strips, and it's very, very easy. So you're going to go ahead and fold in half. Then you're going to fold to the middle area. And then fold that in half. Then you're going to go ahead and take that strip, fold it in half again, fold to the center area, and fold in half. And now you've just created your very first strip. So let's go ahead and do another one together. So go ahead and fold in half, fold to the center, fold to the center, fold that piece in half, then go ahead and fold in half, fold in half, fold in half. And there you go. Now for each one of the rings you're going to make, you're going to need 23 of these. So let me show you how you start the weaving. So this goes inside that part. And then this one goes right inside here. So you're kind of making like a V. Now you're going to take your next piece. I think it's easier to open it up so that you're making sure that you're putting it inside the right spot with a pen cap or a bone folder, whatever you have. And then you're going to go ahead and slide that and that's half and slide this one and this half. And you're going to continue this pattern so it's almost like a zigzag. Like that. And once you get the hang of it, after you do a few, it's very, very relaxing. And you can do it in front of TV, watch a good movie or an audio book. I'll just show you this one more time before I show you how we make our circles. through and put it through and just like that and you're going to go ahead and do that with the 23 strips so the next thing you're going to need to do is you're going to have this strip so you're going to need to make it into a circle and the way you do that is you're going to fold another strip but this time you're not going to fold it the last few steps of the way. So this is the regular strip like you've been doing. But you're not going to continue after that. And what you're going to do is you're going to put it through as if you were making another one. Put it right through. fairly even and then you're going to go ahead and weave it back through that very first one you made it's your circle and then you're just going to weave it back through like so and then this one gets woven back through on the underside. And 
And then if there's any extra piece, you can go ahead and cut it off so that you, so you can't see where you've done it. So you're going to go ahead and do that and repeat that three more times so that you have the four rings. Now here you have a choice. You can either weave these together but with more of these strips. And the way you would do that is you're going to go ahead and stack these up. And then you would weave it under like so. And then weave it back over under this way. And then you could start to weave the layers together. And then you would just go on the back side and go ahead and tuck it in. So that's one method. And then you would continue doing that, I would say, at the 12, 3, 6, and 9 mark. And that would start to put these together. And then you could repeat over here and combine them. I think the easier method, honestly, is just to glue the layers together. So I just take some white glue. And then I will use a generous amount and just put it over all these little diamond shapes. I would use a generous amount and they really do just kind of tuck in real nice like so personally that's how I would do it if you want to do the weaving method you can so I'm just going to continue using a generous amount of glue because it will dry nice and clear and I'm just going to glue my layers together I just, I just feel like they fit together like puzzle pieces, and it's quite easy. And then, and then to make the bottom, I'm going to take an old cereal box, which I'll show you. So I'm going to go ahead and let that dry. Put that off to the side. Once your cylinder is completely dry, you can go ahead and trace it to start to make the bottom. I'm just using an old um, cereal box. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it around and then go ahead and trace the outside. Like so, cut it out. And then I'm going to go ahead and cover it in music notes to match. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this in half so I can cover the front and the back. Go ahead and smooth it so you don't have all the air pockets. Cut it out and cover the other side. Make sure you get rid of any of the air bubbles you have. That's so nice and smooth. Go ahead and you can go ahead. I like to insert it from the top, it's a little bit easier. Exactly, so it will hold with just the tension of the bottom. And then you can, once you get it exactly in the place you want, then you can go ahead and add just a layer of glue right around it just to hold it in place. Go ahead and let that dry. And then once 
that's dry and everything's dry, I like to hit this with um, some Mod Podge. You can choose between matte or glossy. And I'm going to cover this entire thing just to keep it nice and sealed. So I'll go ahead and start that. That's, again, totally up to you. And you're going to coat this very generously. It, it dries completely clear. So don't be afraid to use a lot. 